What is going on, guys? It is your friendly neighborhood gamer, the Elephant Man here. I'm bringing you a big team Infinity Slayer on the map Longbow. And I uh, just kind of want to give you guys a uh, heads up, maybe more of a expectations, if you were, about what to expect from my channel. Uh, I want to let you guys know about the games that I play, you know, if I'm going to add any sort of variants to it. You know, just some usual stuff in general that you would come to expect from a YouTuber. So I'll get it started off with letting you guys know that I am indeed a first person shooter fan if you can't already tell. Halo is at my absolute favorite game. I've been playing it since... I got it into it a little bit late on the Xbox uh, when Halo 3 came out. But I made an absolute effort to play Halo 1 and Halo 2 before I even broke open Halo 3. So I kind of jumped on the game a little late, got my first Xbox around 2007. So, but I've been around for a little while, it's now 2012 at the time of this recording, and uh, look at this, we're on Halo 4 now, and it is just freaking awesome. Love this game to death, man. I've been spending a lot more hours, I mean, I got Black Ops 2 sitting here, but haven't really told that much time into it. Gotta say, I've been a little bit bored and tired of the Call of Duty series, as it were, but in Black Ops 2, it kind of changed things up, and uh, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling a lot better about it. You know, one of my friends on Twitter had told me that it's been the best COD since COD 4, and we all know that COD 4 has been kind of on a high horse ever since it came out, and everybody's been held in high regard. But on to the next topic. The games I play. Halo, Call of Duty, maybe not so much on this channel, but, you know, I'll probably put it in here every once in a while. And Gears of War. Gears of War is probably one of my other games that I'll play on a consistent basis. I do take frequent breaks from it, just because, you know, if you play Gears of War, you know that that game is rage-inducing. Other than that, you know, I'll try to play some RPGs and action games that come out. Like, I still have to finish Dishonored. Holy crap, I still have to fill Red Dead Redemption. That's probably going to be one of the biggest ones to tackle as I put like 60 hours into it and I actually lost my game save file. Uh, that happened with me and a couple other games all in one instance. I lost like Mass Effect 2. Red Dead Redemption and the first Borderlands, so I had to start all my characters over on that. Kind of sucked. But other than that, probably gonna try to play a little bit of Skyrim here and there, as I have yet to finish that up. I still haven't even bought the DLC for it, but I've been hearing nothing but good things about the DLC as far as that goes. I don't know what this guy is doing. He's standing there. Anyways. Uh, I'm planning on putting a Let's Play channel up, uh, not sure what game to start it off on, as a lot of the games that I still own are mainly multiplayer titles, and they don't really care too much about running through the campaign again, so maybe I can just start Dishonored over again and do a Let's Play on that. Who knows? I still got Dead Rising 2, both of the original game and the expansion pack to that. Maybe I might do a Let's Play on that. Still got to do a little bit of Borderlands. You'll never know. I'm sure that at some point I'm going to figure out what I'm going to throw into here. But anyways. Gaming in general. Um, if you guys uh, are familiar with me on Twitter, you'll know that I'm extremely active with talking to people about gaming or any sort of questions they may have about gaming. Um, just a little background on me. I used to work at GameStop for about three years and one of the best parts about my job was helping people find games and or answering questions for them about a certain game. Uh, if they, if I didn't know anything about the game, I wasn't going to BS them and tell them, you know, Oh, you should get this game just because it's good, you know. I'm not like that. If they don't, if I don't know anything about the game, I'm going to tell you I don't know anything. And I will either go and research it myself, or I will go and find somebody else who can help you, recommend you. So, 
if there's anything you guys want to know, don't be afraid to give me a holler on Twitter or Facebook. I'm going to try to start using that a little bit more. But, yeah, I'm an open I'm an open door, guys. If you have any questions at all, just feel free to give me a ring on whatever application you end up using. It's probably one of the most uh, satisfaction filled areas that I actually have. I actually kind of enjoy just talking shop with people. I know that a couple times I was at work and I would spend about an hour and a half just talking to somebody about a certain game that we both had common interest in. He wasn't even trying to buy a game, he just came in to talk. You know, that's the kind of feeling I'm getting off of most of the people that I've met um, through this community that I once belonged to, but I'm still in pretty good terms with. Uh, it's a community called Team Tonage, and I want to stress, I want to emphasize the fact that it's not a clan, it's a community. It's a group of people who all enjoy one thing and one thing only, and that's gaming. It's uh, run by a gentleman named Quick Guns. Quick Guns is, you know, a really rough type to try to get to know, but once you understand his sarcasm and his way of doing things, he's a really good guy to know. You know, most of the people that I know now over Twitter uh, and that I actually game with, I've met because of this group. So if you're somebody that usually plays solo and never really find a group of people to play with, hit up Team Punch. They got a great group of people under its belt right now, and there's a lot that you know, I know personally, and I just cannot stress enough how much that helped me in finding more and more people to game with. It's, it's just an absolute joy to talk to some of these people on a daily basis, and I, I really can't thank uh, Quick Guns and Team Punch enough for setting me up with some of the folks that I, I know now. So, I will put the links in description for all the people that I have mentioned, be it Team Ponage, Quick Guns, and uh, I'll also post a link to my Twitter and my Facebook, and then I'll also give you a link to my Let's Play channel, which I don't know how soon it's going to start up, but I will post it in there, just make it right so you know where to go to when I actually do upload a video. And this is the point in the gameplay where I actually just want to take a personal moment and let you guys know that it brings me absolute joy that you came here and stopped by my channel, gave me a couple moments of your time, well actually almost about 8 minutes so far now, uh, just to come by and stop and check my channel out and give me somewhat of a chance because I know that there's a lot of people out there making YouTube videos and a lot of them do the same old thing over and over again and I'm really trying to bring you guys some variance here so I just want to take take some time to thank you guys very much for giving me the chance here um, if you're this far in already I'd just like to let you know to leave a like share it with your friends uh, it would be much appreciated guys so, that, we're coming back to the end of this video, so I just want to let you know, again, thank you for stopping by, and if you like what you see here, go ahead and give me a subscribe, and I'm going to do my best to try to give you guys content that keeps you entertained. Alright, this has been your friendly neighborhood gamer, the Elephant Man, and I'm signing out.